Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm gonna be doing a 2018 update of my review of the Nectar mattress. Now, a few things to note before we get into the review. The Nectar mattress uses memory foam, so you're really gonna sink into the mattress, feel it contouring around your body. I also like it because it is great for pressure relief. We're gonna take a closer look at that later on in the review with the pressure mat portion. Just wanted you to keep that in mind. And finally, Nectar is also listed on the Sleepopolis list of best mattresses for couples. If you wanna check that article out, you can just Google Sleepopolis and best mattress for couples. It's gonna pop right up. Now, Nectar is one of the biggest bed -to box mattress companies out there. And if you've been looking at reviews on YouTube, it's gonna be pretty tough for you to have missed any of their ads. Now, the mattress is most often compared to the Casper and Purple mattresses. All three of these have really different feels to it, and we'll go over that a little bit more later during the comparison portion of the review. I did just want to point out that the Nectar does come in at a little bit less expensive than the other two mattresses, with the queen-size versions of the Casper and Purple coming in at around $1,000, and the queen-size version of the Nectar mattress coming in at just about $700. Now, I do also want to point out before we go any further that if you have any questions that I don't cover during the review, please do not hesitate to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep references, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So let's start out the review with the construction portion. The Nectar is an all foam mattress made of three different layers. Now the cover is a tensile and cotton blend. Tensile is an eco-friendly material that's made from trees. It's known for being really breathable. Now also in the cover is an inch of gel memory foam actually quilted into the mattress, into the cover. Uh, so it's gonna provide some immediate pressure relief right there. Uh, now the reason it's gel memory foam um, is because it gives you that same memory foam feeling you might be used to, except gel memory foam does a better job of dissipating body heat. A lot of times with memory foam, it gets this reputation as trapping body heat, making you overheat when you sleep. And with such a heavy use of memory foam in this construction, it's nice that they put the gel memory foam layer right on top, so combined with the breathability of the tensile cotton blend cover, which is gonna help a little bit with temperature regulation cooling, that gel memory foam is gonna dissipate a little of that body heat, so even though you are gonna sink in, get a really heavy uh, memory foam feeling contouring around the body, the gel memory foam is gonna defend against kind of the uh, heat trap you might expect. Now below the cover, we have uh, three inches of just memory foam right here. As you can see, this really slow response to pressure, uh, it's gonna really give you that kind of sinking into the mattress feeling, be great for pressure relief, uh, really gonna let you allow you to feel kind of in the mattress. If you like sinking in uh, and feeling it kind of contour around your body, it's gonna be really nice. It's a really thick layer of memory foam right on top. Below that, we have another layer of memory foam. This one has a bit of a quicker response to pressure, uh, so it acts as a little bit of a transition from kind of the gel memory foam, the thick comfort layer of memory foam here, into here, you're still gonna get a contouring feeling. It's still gonna allow you to sink in for pressure relief, but it is a little bit firmer than the comfort layer and has a little bit quicker response to pressure than most memory foams you're gonna see on the market, which is gonna give you a little bit more bounce, make sure you can actually move around and roll around in bed just a little bit. Uh, and it's also gonna help to transition you from uh, the softer comfort layer up top into this high density polyfoam base at the bottom. Now this is really providing the support to the mattress, the layers on top of it, some deep uh, kind of compression support to the sleeper. It really gives the Nectar its uh, shape and its support at the base. Now that we've seen what makes up the Nectar mattress, let's get an idea for the feel and firmness of it. So I started by sleeping on my back on this mattress. And something to note is that my weight was pretty evenly distributed, but even so, I was sinking into it. The thing with memory foam is that it might start out feeling a little bit firmer, but once your body heat kind of interacts with it, you do sink in a little bit more, it starts to get a little bit softer. So in my opinion, this mattress is like an overall, probably like a six out of 10. So maybe just below a medium firmness to it. Uh, I definitely felt like I was more in the mattress, feeling the contouring around my body from all that memory foam. So I did feel a little stuck. I definitely didn't feel on top of the mattress, a little slower response to pressure when I was changing positions. I got close to the edge of the mattress, testing out the edge support. Uh, I did push through some of the softer foam on top. That's to be expected, uh, but I didn't feel like I was collapsing the side. I felt like I could sleep pretty far to the edge. So if you are sleeping with a partner, it's really important to check that because it's gonna make the bed feel a little bit bigger so you can use the entire surface area of the mattress. Rolling onto my side, I felt that the uh, Nectar was great for side sleepers. You know, all that memory foam is great for side sleepers because it allows you to sink further into it. A lot of side sleepers that we talk to have issues with pressure points forming 
the shoulders, at the hips, uh, because you basically end up interacting with the uh, support layers of the mattress because you're pushing further in to the mattress as a side sleeper. So the memory foam really does a good job of allowing you to sink further into the mattress, relieving some of that pressure, those pressure points. So I would say that the Nectar is a great choice for a lot of side sleepers. Once I rolled onto my stomach, I did feel like my hips were sinking into the mattress a little bit too much. Uh, you know, a lot of stomach sleepers complain about lower back pain on soft mattresses because the hips tend to be kind of a heavier portion of your body. If you're stomach sleeping on a softer mattress, your body is gonna be uh, kind of arched in there. So you're gonna end up having your back a little bit out of whack. It might cause some uh, pain in your lower back if you're sleeping on too soft a mattress and you are a strict stomach sleeper. So again, in my opinion, this mattress is a little bit on the softer side of a medium firmness. If you are a strict stomach sleeper, I might say that's not gonna be firm enough for you to keep your hips from sinking into the mattress. Uh, you know, that is just my opinion. So uh, if you wanna check out a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of this mattress, a little bit more detailed description, you can check out the written review at sleepopolis.com. And we're also gonna have Sarah give you her opinion on the feel and firmness of this mattress as well. Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sleepopolis. And while you usually find me testing pillows and sheets and sleep accessories, just wanted to pop in and give my opinion on the Nectar mattress. So I've kind of been a side sleeper my whole life, but I've been dabbling in the waters of stomach sleeping lately. And sometimes I find that mattresses kind of have a tough time reconciling those two. That being said, after sort of transitioning positions on this mattress, I felt like it did a really good job supporting me in both the lateral position and the prone position. I felt like it was firm enough to sort of keep everything in healthy alignment when I was on my stomach and also really did a great job of conforming to my shape, relieving pressure in my shoulder. So it's a yes from me. Now, if you're into memory foam and kind of want to find a memory foam pillow to match your memory foam mattress, be sure to Google Sleepopolis memory foam pillows. And we'll put you on the right track. All right, so instead of just describing the feel of the Nectar mattress hue, I wanted to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form lying on the mattress. So place this pressure map on top and I'm gonna lie down on it in a few different positions and you're gonna see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. All right, now I briefly wanna talk about some of the competitors that I mentioned earlier on in the video. We'll start with the Casper mattress, which like the Nectar is an all foam construction. However, it does have more of a balanced foam feel to it. Uh, it is zoned for support through the shoulders to give you a little bit more spine alignment there. Uh, I will say there is a layer of memory foam in the Casper as well, but it is below a latex alternative foam, which has a quicker response to pressure. So it does have more of a medium firmness, like the six and a half out of 10 range. Uh, whereas I felt the Nectar was a little bit softer than that. And definitely more of that memory foam feeling of sinking into the mattress, feeling the contour around your body. Now the other uh, competitor I mentioned earlier is the Purple Mattress, which uses a hyperelastic polymer and the comfort layer. It's Purple's proprietary material, uh, and they set it up in a grid structure. So basically when you lay on it, the walls of the grid will kind of collapse around you to give you a little bit of that contouring feeling, but it has a really quick response to pressure. It's a really bouncy mattress. So unlike the Nectar, which we saw didn't really have a lot of bounce to it, uh, more of a kind of sinking into the mattress feeling again, uh, the purple has more of a bouncy feeling th thanks to that uh, polymer, which is also temperature neutral, so it does sleep pretty cool. Uh, now those are really brief comparisons, but if you are looking for a more in-depth comparison of the Nectar versus either of those mattresses, we have full comparison articles on Sleepopolis. So just Google Sleepopolis and Nectar versus Casper or Sleepopolis and Nectar versus Purple Mattress. You can see our full comparisons on the site.
Just want to give you a quick idea of the bounce on the Nectar mattress. I have this 10 pound steel ball here and I'm dropping it. As you can see, there really isn't that much bounce. Uh, the memory foam has a really slow response to pressure. It doesn't respond really quickly, which means you're not going to feel kind of like you're able to move around on top of the mattress so much. You're not going to have that same response that maybe like a traditional inner spring mattress would. The memory foam really has you sink in. While we're here, also going to run a quick motion transfer test. And basically with this test, I dropped the same ball from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches, which is going to simulate someone kind of getting into and out of bed or rolling around in the middle of the night. And on the other side of the mattress where someone might be sleeping, put a seismometer to test kind of how much motion is transferred from one side of the bed to the other. And now that we're going to put the results up on screen, I can say that I was a little surprised with the initial high spikes of motion detected across the mattress. I really kind of point that out as, um, you know, I mentioned before that memory foam does feel a little bit firmer at first, but after sleeping on it for a little while, it will kind of have a little bit more give, allow you to sink further in. So I really credit the higher spikes to the fact that it isn't really warmed up. It does feel a little bit firmer at first touch, so it's going to transfer a little bit more motion. Uh, however, you can see that the memory foam does dull the motion transfer right away. So I would say, you know, if someone jumps into bed or anything like that, you probably will feel it on the other side. But if someone is kind of rolling around, I wouldn't expect too much motion to be transferred or it would kind of muffle it really quickly on the other side of the mattress. All right, now a lot of people buying a mattress are gonna to wanna to know if they're gonna feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into bed. So to test that, we've set up the sinkage test in which we use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities, simulate different body parts and check to see how far into the mattress they sink. So over here we have the six pound medicine ball filled with sand, simulates a lighter body part, sinks into the nectar about an inch, so it's really just sinking into that gel memory foam that's quilted into the cover. Here we have a 10 pound steel ball, it's the densest ball used during this test, it sinks into the nectar about two inches, so through that quilted foam that's in the cover into the uh, memory foam comfort layer, so you're really just interacting with memory foam. The 50 pound medicine ball here, it's also filled with sand, simulates a heavier portion of body, think your hips or your shoulders. I was actually surprised, this one only sinks into the nectar about three and a half inches, so really you're still only interacting with uh, the comfort layer, so it's the inch of memory foam that's quilted in the cover, and then there's the three inch comfort layer of memory foam below that, so three and a half inches still means you're only uh, sinking so far into the mattress that you're dealing with the comfort layer, so it's still gonna feel pretty soft. And over here on the end, uh, we have this 100 pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand. If you're a bit bigger, it is kind of the center of your body uh, and it sinks into the nectar about six inches. Now that's pretty far into the mattress. You're gonna interact with the high density polyfoam base. You're probably gonna feel, uh, if you are sinking that far into the mattress, you're probably gonna feel that the nectar is a bit on the firmer side as compared to someone who's just sinking in and interacting with the memory foam, foam portion of the uh, nectar. Overall, these are, just about average uh, depths for sinkage when compared to other uh, bend -to box foam mattresses on the market. Uh, the three and a half inches may be a little bit below average, but uh, because of the slow response to pressure from all the memory foam, even though you're not sinking further into the mattress than you normally would, you probably will feel more kind of in it or enveloped by uh, the nectar than you would another mattress on the market. Just to give you some basic information about the nectar mattress, there's a 365 night trial period, a forever warranty, and shipping is free and it will arrive compressed in a box. Now some of the reasons I would recommend the Nectar to you is if you are looking for that classic memory foam feel. Again, more than half of this mattress is made up of memory foam, so you're really going to sink into the mattress feeling contouring around your body, so if you're looking for a memory foam mattress, you should definitely check out the Nectar. I would say I would also recommend the Nectar uh, if you are a side sleeper. Because of all that memory foam, side sleepers are really gonna be able to sink further into the mattress without interacting with a firm support layer. That's gonna really help avoid pressure points forming at the shoulders and the hips, which are generally two problem areas we see for a lot of side sleepers. And finally, I would recommend the Nectar if you sleep with a partner. Uh, it is on our list as one of the best mattresses for couples, which again, you can check out by Googling Sleepopolis and best mattress for couples. Uh, we saw that the memory foam did a really good job of dulling motion transfer really quickly. Uh, so if someone rolls around in the middle of the night, you won't feel it as much. And also I was pleasantly surprised with the edge support on the Nectar. I did push through the softer foams on top, but I felt like the high density polyfoam base did a pretty good job of holding up. So I wasn't too worried about kind of rolling around, rolling out of bed or anything like that. So it allows you to sleep all the way to the edge of the mattress, which is great if you sleep with a partner. Now, some of the reasons I would say maybe the Nectar is not for you or some of the complaints I have with the Nectar uh, is if you are a stomach sleeper, it's not, it's 
generally just not great for memory foam or for sunk sleepers to use memory foam because it is a softer material. Your hips end up kind of sinking into the mattress, throwing it back out of alignment, just kind of the nature of memory foam and the material. Uh, I would also say uh, if you're looking for a mattress with bounce, we didn't really see too much bounce on the nectar. Again, kind of the nature of the material with memory foam, it kind of dulls that bounce. Uh, so if you are looking for a springier mattress, I don't think uh, something with so much memory foam on top is going to be for you. Now, those are some really general recommendations, but if you are looking for a personal recommendation or have any questions that I didn't cover during the review today, please leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep references, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, uh, please be sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're going to keep putting out a ton of information that's going to help you get a better night's sleep.